New at 5 o'clock tonight, the Council on American-Islamic Relations files a complaint about the Illinois State Police Department. It comes after police rescinded an offer to a prominent imam who was to become the department's first ever Muslim chaplain. ABC 7 investigative reporter Chuck Gabby is joining us now with more on the story. Chuck? Cheryl, Ron, it has been six months since Muslim cleric Kifa Mustafa was trained and certified by the Illinois State Police as the department's first, one, and only Islamic chaplain. In March, the I-Team reported on certain aspects of Mustafa's background that prompted state police officials to put a hold on his chaplain duties. Now, Mustafa has been told he is permanently banned as a state police chaplain. Imam Kifah Mustafa is beyond reproach. He has proven his colors. His track record is not only clear, it is transparent and omnipresent. He has been an imam since 1994. He has served this community with dignity and honor. Despite strong backing today from Muslim leaders, Kifa Mustafa has been ordered to turn in his state police ID card and bulletproof vest and will no longer be on the roster of three dozen Illinois state police chaplains who many times ride along with troopers and serve as the spiritual backbone of the force. Today we're filing a charge of discrimination with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission or the EEOC on behalf of Imam Kifa Mustafa against the Illinois state police. The Council on American-Islamic Relations says it blames this man for Mustafa's removal as a police chaplain. Early this year, Steve Emerson's terrorism research project began posting videos and documents critical of Mustafa and questioning his appointment as a chaplain. Emerson, a national security expert who has testified before Congress, posted public Justice Department documents that cite Mustafa as a member of the Muslim Brotherhood's Palestine Committee, an organization that federal prosecutors say raises money for Hamas, and is committed to the globalization of Islam and violent jihad. At first I thought it was another Kifa Mustafa. I, I, I could not believe that it would have been the same Kifa Mustafa who was associated with a terrorist organization and who was listed a year and a half ago as an unindicted co-conspirator in a terrorist case that the government won. State police officials say only that a further review of Mustafa's background resulted in his dismissal as a chaplain. It's disappointing that things should come to this that the Illinois State Police has succumbed to the defamatory rantings of bigoted individuals who, while in the name of protecting American values, do nothing more than undermine and degrade the very principles this country was founded upon. The Mustafa case highlights a bitter rift between the American Islamic Council and Steve Emerson's terrorism research project. Kerr claims Emerson is an Islamophobe, fearmonger, and an Israeli lobbyist. In rebuttal, Mr. Emerson tonight says there is no truth to anything care officials say. Emerson maintains that he merely highlighted information about Kifa Mustafa that Mustafa and care, he says, wanted hidden. And that the Illinois State Police then made its own decision. State Police not going on camera, mm -hmm. just putting out a written statement.